Hey everybody, Sean Fury here with Sean Fury's Hero Training School, continuing our Hero Training series today, talking about minions and uh, the change agency developmental ladder, right? The ladder you're climbing in your development as an agent of change so that you can maximize your capacity to create better experiences for yourself and others, right? So we mentioned that the bystanders stuck in non-engagement. So if they want to get out of that stuckness, they want to have better experiences in life, they got to start first by engaging with social realities, getting involved, right? That's scary. They're going to have to risk loss. They need to have a, take a leap of faith. So faith is the antidote for uh, risk, the fear of risk, you know, the fear of failure. Have courage, right? Another word. So you just got to go for it. And you got to believe that something different can happen so that you can have a positive outcome. You, you know, uh, as they say, uh, assume the sale. You have to assume that you're going to be victorious in order for that to be a possibility. If you set out thinking you're going to fail, you will fail. So if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it, right? All ways of saying the same thing. Second stage, the villain was stuck in coercion. If they want to get unstuck, they need to learn how to collaborate with others as teammates, just like people do on a basketball team or a baseball team, right, or a football team. Uh, you can't have your – there's no I in team, right? Everybody matters. You still have your personal goals, but you're not going to pursue your personal goals if the team uh, is suffering because of that, right? Team first, then personal goals. That's how you can always make sure you're moving up ahead, keeping your social group structure horizontal rather than vertical. And uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute. So minions are stuck at the third stage. Uh, the task of this stage is to choose between self-esteem uh, or self-loathing. Okay? Do I love myself? Do I think of myself as worthy or do I dislike myself? Do I hate myself deep down? Do I think that I'm worth less? And if I do think that I'm worth less, like the minion does, then I'm more likely to do what the minion does. And that is that the minion allows people to dominate them and to take advantage of them financially um, and in many other ways, and to primarily exploit them as an object. Uh, the minion is treated as an object who doesn't matter to the villain. Other, th it's, it's, it's a parasite host relationship, as I've said in other videos. The villain is like a little tick on a dog's back, and the minion is being the dog. So the minion is the one with the resources and is the, the host, and the uh, villain is like the parasite who is sucking the life or the blood out of the host, right? So why does the minion do this? Probably because, you know, they were neglected as a child and they don't want that to happen to other people. And so they develop this hyper focus on caring for others. And it's great to care for people, but not if you're not caring for yourself too, right? So if the minion wants to get get freed or unstuck from that minion role, um, then they need to choose self-esteem and learn to set limits um, around personal autonomy and self-directedness. Like, if you're a person who wants to coerce my compliance, I'm not going to allow you to do that. And even if it's awkward or uncomfortable or you might threaten to hurt me, I'm still not going to let you do that. I'd rather take the uh, danger than the oppression because if I let you control me, I will never get above a shriveling life status because whenever I start to make any money, you're going to come and take it from me. Whenever I start to get any status, you're going to come and use it to your advantage and not mine. So the minion is not able to achieve flourishing life uh, in their circumstances because the villain uh, – is constantly coming over and taking it from them. Another way of describing the villain is King Baby. 
they are entitled and they act incompetent. And the, the minion is also known as a servant caretaker. They serve the king and they try to care for the incompetent baby that the person portrays themselves to be when they're in the villain role.